Hello everyone, Shane here with RepairDesk. Today we'll be talking about recurring billing, a new feature added to the RepairDesk Enterprise version. With recurring billing, you can automatically charge your customers for any payments due at your repair store after a set duration with their details on file. Let's see how it works. Head to the store settings and you'll find a new section labeled Recurring Billing. To start using recurring billing, simply click on the Enable button. Recurring billing currently works with RepairDesk Pay only. If you have an account with RepairDesk Pay, simply select Yes where it says, Would you like to accept recurring payments using RepairDesk Pay? If you don't have an account with RepairDesk Pay, simply click here, and our team will be in touch to offer you a custom quote or select Yes if you do. Next, we will need to input the Blockchip token key. Go to your Blockchip account and log in. Click on API credentials and then token keys. Generate a new key and copy the key. Go back to Repair Desk and then paste the key here. Under the Manage Failed Payment section, you can also select what the system will do on a second, third, and fourth retry attempt, and what happens when all retries fail. Under the Email Notification section, you can choose to enable options to send the admin or customer an email when payment is successful, or when a payment has failed. When you're all done, click on Save Changes to confirm your choices. Now under the Repair section in the top bar, you'll be able to see a new option called Manage Reoccurring Billing. This new option has two modules, Manage Subscriptions and Manage Reoccurring Invoices. Clicking on Manage Subscriptions takes you to a new subscriptions dashboard, which lets you create new subscriptions and see which ones are active. Any subscriptions you create will have invoices automatically generated for them over time and can be viewed when clicking Manage Reoccurring Invoices. To create a new subscription, go back and click on Create New Subscription. You'll be taken to a page where you can enter the details of the customer subscribing. The date, the plan name, and the product info. Once you've entered the details, you can move to the Set Schedule section. You can specify if you would like to charge per month or a year. You can also choose if you would like to charge on the first of each month or any given day. Not only that, you can also select the date of the first invoice. Below this is the Payment Method section, where you can choose from a number of options to collect payment from the customer. You can either input customer card details manually, or you can authorize customer cards using the RepairDesk Pay Terminal. Once you're done with everything, click on the Start Subscription button to complete the process. Let's take a minute and see the simplest form to taking recurring payments using the RepairDesk Pay Terminal in a retail setting. Using this step-by-step -step guide, you will easily be able to create new subscription for customers at your repair store and collect payments without any trouble on a reoccurring basis. We hope this feature will help your repair store become even better, and we're always happy to hear from you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the RepairDesk team at support at repairdesk.co. Thank you, and have a pleasant day.